hey guys welcome back to the channel in our previous video we had seen object oriented concepts what is an object association composition aggregation states of an object how to create an object object creation and direct initialization object creation and initialization using object reference has also been seen so in our previous video we have seen all the theoretical concepts in today's video we are going to see the practical of these three and then let us see the next content this is eclipse editor that we have installed in our very first video create a java project i'll just name it as a demo next finish don't create demo source control n we just want a class name of the class i'll give us pen let us just refresh the topic from the previous video state and behavior state of an object is nothing but the property or information or a data which describes an object is called as states which i have already told you here you have variable and const in the video of uh, data types and, and variables i have told you what is a variable i'll be attaching the link of that video in the card you can just check it out so let us see one this class pen string color equal to green string type as marker this is how we are going to initialize one particular object this is one program class pen we have initialized two states here one is color one is type the data types of both these is string string so green and the type is marker this is how you are going to initialize your object or this is also called as object creation so by using the new keyword you can create an object here we have created three objects p1 c1 and c2 p1 c1 and c2 are called as object reference when you are going to create a p1 object that is pen p1 is equals to new pen in your heap memory where your objects are stored it is going to give an object address it is to that particular object it is going to store in the heap memory with the object address with its properties and the class name in the same way we have created three objects all the three objects are stored here with different different object addresses now let us see this in the practical class pen string color is equals to green string type is equals to marker always in the end of your java program you need to give the semicolons if there are no semicolons or if your semicolons are omitted you will be getting an error over here which we do not want done so after doing this if you want to create the objects now uh, we all know that we have one program which is called as the main program from where the execution always starts of your java program so main control space here we, go, we are going to create a new object of this pen class so we are going pen p1 is equals to new pen pen C one is equals to new pen. Pen C two is equals to new pen. Now to check whether these objects are going to give us the right output, let us see here. System dot out dot print. So here I'm just going to print. p1 dot color so this is going to tell you a uh, which color your pen is just going to print p1 dot color this is going to tell you which color the pen is now let us see here 
okay so we have got it as green let me just add here some dummy text the color of the pen p1 is equals to now let us see what is the output run this proceed okay so we have got an error over here Ex expectation in thread main java dot language dot error unresolved compilation problem syntax error on token p1 delete this token so it is telling that there is some error in this particular syntax so here whenever you want to print the state or whatever you have given in your class you need to add or if you want to print anything which is given as an output with the input text you always have to provide a plus mark over here plus p1 color now let us see the color of the pen is equals to green so this is how we are going to print the output save this now let me just check with the c2 as well same thing sout out control space the color of the pen c1 is equals to i'll just give a plus mark c1 dot color save it refresh okay you can see that both the printing lines are printed in the same line. If you want to write it in the new line, then print ln, print ln, save this, refresh. So both are in the new line. Now again with the C2 as well, sys dot out, control space, the color of the pen C2 is equals to plus c2 dot color the same thing will be with the type of the marker i'm just going to copy this paste the type of the pen p1 is equals to p1 dot type copy this paste and paste change it to c1 change it to c2 so here we go the type of the color p1 is equals to green type i'm sorry the color of the pen p1 is equals to green the type of the pen p1 is equals to marker so all the things are same here because we have taken only two and this is an example for object creation object creation and direct initialization so now let us see another example that is object creation and initializing using object reference so in order to create another new program i'll just uh, identify it here so now this is object creation and initialization using object reference so we are not going to initialize it directly over here. And here we are going to give p1 dot color is equals to red p1 dot type is equals to marker in the same way c1 dot color is equals to blue c1 dot type is equals to ball pen c2 dot 
color is equals to green c2 dot type is equals to gel pen save it And a semicolon here. Save. Press see the output. Okay, now we can see that the color of the pen P1 is red and the type of the pen P1 is marker. The color of the pen C1 is blue. The type of the pen C1 is ball pen. Sorry. C1 and C2. So this is an example. Whatever you're going to print in your print ln statement in the double quote it is going to print exactly the same the color of the pen c1 is equals to blue the type of the pen c1 is equals to ball pen the color of the pen c2 is green the type of the pen c2 is gel pen so this example of initialization using object reference we are using this object reference and we are initializing the object states or the properties of an object so these are called as the properties and this is how you are going to create an object and you are going to initialize it. The next concept which we are going to see are the reserve keywords. So what are these reserve keywords? These reserve keywords are the keywords which are already present in your Java language and these cannot be used as your class names. They are first one is class, interface abstract, import, package, static, public, private, protected, default, super, this, extends, implements, try, catch, finally, break, continue, int, double, float, if, else, switch and there are many more which are there which you cannot use as your class names or these class names are also called as identifiers because based on that name itself you are going to identify your class so these are basically called as identifiers there are certain rules for your identifiers as well like what has to be done if you have to create an identifier what should be how it should be uh, given the name so the, the first rule is identifiers cannot have space if you see here in our first example the class name is Alia but, but you can also see that there is a unit space left between Alia and but. So this space should be omitted. There should not be any space between your class names or identifier. So this is a wrong one. Next is class marker pen. You can see that there is another unit of space between the marker and the pen. So this is not the right way of uh, initializing your identifier or giving the name to your class. The second rule for your identifiers. The second rule for the identifier is identifiers cannot have special characteristics like dollar and underscore. Like aria underscore but class before it cannot have between the two letters words it cannot have before any word starting so this is how the initializations should not be done next third one identifiers must not be any java keyword just now i told you the reserve keywords So these reserve keywords are also called as Java keywords. They cannot be any reserve keyword. For example, class static, class void. Static is a Java keyword. Void is a Java keyword. Int is a Java keyword. Public is a Java keyword. So any class that is there, it cannot have the Java keyword or reserve keyword. The fourth one is identifiers must not start with the numbers but it can have numbers like it should not start with any number but it can end with one. So this is another example another uh, 
important rule that you have to keep in mind when you are whenever you are creating your class so what is the good practice of giving the name for your classes or giving the identifiers is class name must be a camel case now what is camel case for example camel case marker pen so there is no space between the marker and the pen but you can specify that you can you can read them as two different words the starting letter of the second word is capital so this is called as camel case class name must be singular all right done and it should be a noun so these are the three good practices that you ha- you can you have to practice when you are giving the class names in the coming videos let us see java programming in more detail till then stay tuned bye bye